When I started getting into it, you know, uh, studying architecture or attempting to want to be an architect, I didn't know what architects can and how, how they come about. I had come to Nairobi from Alliance High School to visit my uncle, who was uh, a cook. And his boss was an architect, fortunately, Imre Rosa. And while he was cooking, uh, preparing to cook uh, Ugali for lunch, he took some paper, blueprints, and uh, to, to light a fire. And I, I looked at the blueprint and I saw Imre Rosa architect. And I asked him, what does your man do? He said, oh, he, said, oh, he, he, he didn't explain. But when I went back to Alliance, I looked up his Encyclopedia Britannica. And I learned that an architect is a master builder. And from that on I said, I'll be one of them. <laughs> anyway, I told Carl Francis that I want to be an architect. He was annoyed. He wouldn't talk to me for quite a bit. Uh, but after a few weeks, he came around and he said, we'll come to Nairobi to look for architects because uh, that Encyclopedia Britannica said architects are trained through apprenticeship. It's a 10 year apprenticeship. And that's what I had a picture. So we came to Nairobi. We saw uh, Archer, the old man Archer. We went to, to him to find out how I can be apprenticed or whether he can apprentice me. We talked nicely and he was very kind. And he said, no, no, he can't apprentice me. And there was, as I was going out, he asked me, but by the way, who will you be designing for? After all, Africans live in mud huts. So, I, so that's my background, <laughs> mud huts. But even not mud huts, how? Uh, uh, Tikamba hut is a, is a round thing which, with a grass that goes to the ground. And to enter it, you crawl. So that was my architecture. So from there, we went and saw uh, the, the railway architect. I think uh, it was a, a crawling guy. And uh, he wasn't a quilling either. Then we went to post office. And the post office architect said, oh, yes, you'll apprentice me. And we left and went. I went away to take my school certificate. And we said, after I get the result, I'll tell him. And if I passed, you take me. And I went to Machakos. When the result came, I had done quite well. I passed well, actually, to go to Makerere, etc. And I called him. He said, I can't take you. How do I know you are not a mom? mom? So that was the end of my architectural pursuit. I called Kerry Francis, he said to me, in that case, why don't you just go to Makere? So I went to Makere in 1953 and uh, registered to study science, Bachelor of Science, Maths, Physics, Chemistry and Biology. And I was first year there, a mono, I, I don't want a mono yet, first year freshman. Uh, before the first session ended, we were visited by a guy called Labi, Norman Labi. Norman Labi was a Mzungu. He was uh, a senior director of education in charge of African education. And he had come to Makere to see how his words are <laughs> faring. I knew him in 1945 because he was the uh, headmaster of uh, Machakos Government African School. So, and uh, 
subsequently at Alliance, he used to come there. So I knew him. So he came and said, well, well, how are you getting on? I said, fine, but it will take me four years to study a Bachelor of Science. And then I have to be apprentice for another ten to be an architect. Because I want to be an architect. Hmm. Then I explained what had taken place. And he said, oh, when you come to Nairobi, come and see me. And I went and saw him, and he got on the phone. <coughs> and he rang a guy in the city hall called uh, Mayor. And beyond the hall, I found myself an employee of city council as a learner draftsman. And I started, and I went to night school. I left my case now. Uh, and uh, I continued going to night school, trust me. And then, um, uh, 50, maybe 54, uh, I was in a section. You know, there used to be that department. There was one dealing with African housing, Asian housing, and European housing. I was in the African housing. Well, the discrimination, city hall, there are areas we couldn't go because it was a European controlled area. Anyway, while working there, uh, government, colonial government, advertised for bursaries, was to people who want to go and study abroad, England really. Now, bursaries, and I applied. And uh, behold, behold, I was called for interview. And my interviewer were Kerry Francis, Norman Labi, Eliud Matthew, and two, three other Mzungus. And after Maneno, I found myself with a bursary to go and study architecture. I applied to several universities in England, and Sheffield accepted me. And I was there in October 1954.